Hello my friends! In today's video I will prepare a simple and very tasty potato cream soup. What should we need? Large potatoes, medium carrots, cabbage, a bit of copy, sour cream, cloves of garlic, onion, salt, freshly ground pepper, half a teaspoon of red pepper, bread for croutons. Do you know this soup? Have you ever cooking it? I will be very happy if you could write me in the comments what country you came from and what kind of soup you like to cook the most. And what is the preparation process? Wash and clean all the vegetables. Cut the carrot, potato and cabbage into small pieces. Fry diced onion and chopped garlic in a piece of butter. As soon as the onion softens, we can add chopped carrots, cabbage and potatoes. Salt, pepper, you can add marjoram and red pepper. Saute the base for a while and cover with hot water or vegetable broth. And did you know that potatoes are also very healthy? Potatoes are incredibly nutritious. They are a fantastic source of potassium, more so than a banana. They can help lower blood pressure. Potatoes will also provide half of your vitamin C intake, which helps boost your immune system. And interestingly, despite the fact that potatoes are increasingly referred to as a food for scoping, they are also a good source of vitamin B6, which is related to improving our metabolism. So, after a while, cook for 25 minutes and then blend until smooth or if you like the soup not completely smooth, you can leave some pieces unblended, like me. We can add cream and spice it up to taste or add dried herbs. Well, we then cook together for another 5 minutes. At the very end we add peas, which will give the soup a pleasant sweet toast. In fact, potatoes are so nutritious that studies have shown that communities that eat mostly potatoes have very few of the problems often associated with limited diets. Furthermore, Children raised on this potato-containing diet grow and develop quite normally. Of course, we are not um, advocating a diet limited mostly to potatoes, but it does prove their nutritional capabilities. And finally, to the end, we can prepare um, croutons, which can be made either in a butter on a pan, or then they are more tender and buttery, or we can prepare them in the oven. Just put cubes of bread or a roll on the baking paper and bake it uh, on a heated oven at 200 degrees until golden. And that's it. Bon appetit! Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, I will be very happy for a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel so you don't miss any new video. Good luck!